the fancy lobby, guys. We're going to check out the, the pool here, guys. You can't leave the hotel without going to the pool. And they have a hammam here. Let's do it. Floor numero minus two. Kupu to kupu. Kupu kupu. Check this out, guys. This is what a hammam looks like back in the day. Everybody just knew they were taking a, a bath. It's a very traditional Turkish thing. So, yeah, you got unlimited towels here. Alejandro's gonna open the huge door. And, well, this is the hammam. Check it out. It smells like Asian chicken in here. But this place is huge. You get your little things there to fill up with water. Imagine there was like somebody in every corner taking a bath here. This would be a completely different setting. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> you feel weird along here? It's also, it's like a steam bath. Cause you feel the hot steam in here. Only for treatment usage. Alejandro, what do you think people are using this for? Other than for treatment and hammams that they need to put that there. Okay, look, they have special private hammer rooms. Wow. VIP. Alright, so you just go lay down there and I give you a, a hammer bath. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but here you just slip and slide all over the place. Wow, 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 wow. The sauna just. It has me looking like this. I'm just sweaty as heck. Alrighty. It is jacuzzi time. Yeah. Ladies first. So after your, your hammam, you should just do the whole combo. Sauna, jacuzzi, it's hot? Yeah, very hot. Ah! It can't be that hot. It's all right. It's all right. It's just so dark in here. Yeah, right? Or is it the sun? Well, we just came from the beach, so you probably just got better. <laughs> Am I the same? Oh, yeah, no. I think I press this button and I make bubbles. You react to hot water the way most people react to cold water. Prefiero fría. Me siento como un huevo cosí. They have women's volleyball here. Definitely a great sport to watch, guys. I highly recommend it. Alejandro likes it. What? Women's volleyball. Huh? Women's volleyball. I mean, we had women's volleyball or dudes riding a bike. <laughs> Easy choice. Alrighty, let's go for the the cold shower. Whoosh! I guess we just leave the phones there. It's supposed to be a rich people spot, so I don't think <laughs> they're trying to steal the phones. And if they do, I'll find one. And then I'll take them to Miami. Yeah, we can share. We gotta save water. So I guess we put the towel up here. All right, extra cold water. sauna and all that is there more fancy crap here and then the coolest part is this pool so the gym is right there but the pool it's all about this pool it's an indoor pool and I fancy me a dip Alejandro you gonna get in or what you gotta get your head under there it's a must Aww. it's a must so I guess they want you to dip your feet in here. All right, you can fill me up on me. I've been kicked out of the pool, guys, for not having a swimming cap. Forget them. 
Wait, but let me show you guys more of the fancy crap they have here. Look at this. Another shower, guys. Why not this? Pro boy. Oh, why is the water coming out like... Alejandro refused to get in the water. I don't blame her. I'm sure everybody pisses in there as well. <laughs> oh, but that means the jacuzzi too. Huh? Everybody pisses in the jacuzzi too. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out after you do all your healthy stuff, your gym and your sauna. They have a little place there for you to get drinks and whatnot. And we, we gotta get the heck out of here, guys. We gotta train to catch. Let's go, Ali. Let's go. This is the <laughs> way. Welcome to the Executive Lounge over here at a five-star JW Marriott Hotel. So first thing is you get one of these cards that give you access to it. And then you enter. Hi, hello, how are you? And this is it, guys. A very big, spacious lounge to hang out. And then from certain times, they have a full of food. Hello, sir. And let, oh, all right, they have everything served up, guys. Check it out. Local Turkish food, as well as some international options. So the decoration is simply awesome. Like, look at all the dessert, chocolate cake, fruits. And then more salads here. But I think the fun stuff is over here, guys. Let's let's check it out. Let's skip the bread for now. They have soup today. Broccoli soup. Yeah, broccoli soup right there. Then we have oh we have little baby hamburgers. And fries. Or potato wedges. Hello. And they're stocking up on all the good stuff there. Alrighty guys, let's just get a seat somewhere that's well lit and try this food out. For the sake of the video, let's look at all the extras. Mustard, cold meats, cheese. Oh, what? What is it? What, what cheese is that, sir? Cheese. Uh, meat cheese. Meat cheese? Yeah. It has meat in there? Uh, sleep uh -huh. and the cheese. Okay. All right, I'm gonna have to try it. That's all. First we get bread, <laughs> more bread. And they have the coolest tea station. So they have all the teas here. You pick one and then you put it inside this little bag, this little pouch. Hot water comes out from here. Turkish tea comes out from there as well. Hazelnut syrup. Hmm. Alrighty. So that's pretty much it guys. Check out this, this one here. A lot of space and then the financial business district in Ankara, the capital of Turkey. Well, I wouldn't mind to play some chess right now. So I was here a few minutes before they actually set up. It's at 5.30 and I was here a bit early so the food was set up. But now they have set up the alcohol bar right there and have a look. They're, they're not skimping. Oh, hello. Alejandro Hi. made a fashion related appearance. The food is really good. It looks good. I haven't tried it, but it looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I, I like the, the bar here, guys. Whiskey. All this good stuff. This is, this is the local Turkish alcohol, guys. Raki. I went ahead and got just about everything here, including this little red over here. I got their eggplant, their roasted bell peppers, their salad, and this rice, and of course the wine. I just got out of the gym, so before I fill myself up with wine, let's do it guys. Beetroot shot and carrot shot. They are freshly blended. Now that the healthy part is out of the way guys, Let's go ahead and dive right into the little Turkish snack right away. Looks like mushrooms there. And some sort of brown... 
topping. Mmm. I'm chicken too. <laughs> the taste surprised me. Mm. It's not overly tasty, but there's just something random that hits you there. It's probably that brown topping on top. Mmm. Not a bad start. What do you think? It tastes a lot um, to mayonnaise. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, not yogurt. There's a lot of mayo. Yeah. I would have thought it was yogurt at first because I actually put yogurt on everything here. So check out the silverware, guys. <sighs> Look at this spoon. It looks like a scoop. So let's try out fancy food number two. Eggplant with olive oil. Mm. Onions in there. Cilantro as well to give it some taste. Are those chili seeds? They have a hint of hotness in there. Hmm. Mm-hmm. It's one of those things that the more you eat it, the more you're gonna like it. I thought maybe they'll have more meat options here, but it's not the case, so we're gonna try the mini Turkish hamburger. Looks like they melted a little bit of cheese on top. Tiny little burger. Okay, I'll tell you guys, you got the job done. Now I loaded the plate up with Caesar dressing. Better that way. The other hand is going for more food. Can I blame her? Not at all. These potato wedges are spiced up, guys. You can see. Some paprika on there. Fry some chili flakes because they pack a little heat. Let's try out their salad, guys. It has peppers, corn, smells like lemon juice, and another herb in there. Not bad, not bad. But to be honest, I think I'm just gonna stick to eating these little burgers. For now, it's the, mess. it's the best thing over here. Dip them inside that Caesar dressing. Mm-hmm. Alejandra is <laughs> a genius. She's putting the Caesar dressing on the bun to bring it to life, get ketchup to it. She's turning into like a Venezuelan mini burger. <laughs> Look at turkey version of tartar sauce. That's what it said on the sign, guys. It came out green. Tastes like herby tartar sauce. Alejandra, Alejandra's gone in for more, guys, and she brought ketchup. Now look at the fancy ketchup over here. It's a strong, strong, dry red wine. They have about four, four different options there. Turkish wine. Oh, burger for me? Yeah. Thank it's you. Impressive for you. What do you think about the wine? It's okay. It's, it's like it's strong for me, but yeah, it is. I can drink it. Very strong. Plate number two, and I went ahead and added some Dijon mustard. To bring these little burgers to life, these little buggers, 
I just promise guys I got their their cheese that was rolled up in nuts. It seems like like a cream kind of cheese. Let's try it. Mmm. I'm gonna put that in my burger. Let's try the burger with the, the creamy cheese. You know? It might be some sort of goat cheese. Mmm. That is the best way to have these little mini burgers. They have cheesecake on here, so there was no way I was gonna pass out on trying cheesecake out here in Ankara, Turkey. That is surprisingly good. And the reason I see it is because the texture is quite different. It seems like it's mushy, but it's a lot more firm and a lot more tasty than I expected. I like it. Mm. The best thing on the menu so far. I'll give you guys a quick hotel room tour, guys. So it comes with its own scale, a beautiful bathroom, it has, oh, <laughs> it has a toilet over here, like that, and it has a shower here, and then you get the bathtub. Here's the city view, and this is what they call here a junior suite. You get these three square pillows, a bed, you get the television here, and this pillar here that I'm using to dry up clothes. This table, Alejandra writing notes on the table. <laughs> Computer not included, but check out this charging station. I liked it. Uh, you basically can connect everything to here and I'm guessing this connects to the TV, which is great for streaming, right? Drawing off some cool stuff. They gave us sweets, guys. Back lava, delicious. Couch, another. Chair there, spacious spot over here, check it out. We get a mirror. Why is it so dark here? Where's the rest of the lights? All right, we're not in business. Full mirror for when you're leaving, check yourself out, let's go. The fully equipped bar, guys, this is very good. Check it out. You have just about everything you can want in here. I like it. I like it. Spacious closet. And then check this part out. This is to clean your shoes. And then there's another piece. You get this stick included here to put on your shoes. It seems to be a big deal in Turkey. A lot of hotels have it. But this one's just... Yeah, I mean, you could do other stuff with this. Good morning, Alejandro. Good morning. I'm gonna show you the five-star luxury breakfast here at the Marriott today, guys. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Breakfast is this way? Yes. Is yes. it really good? Yeah. Yeah? All right, all right. Uh, I need your number. 718. Thank you. Enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. All right, just like that, guys, we're in five-star breakfast. Check out the roof. Oh, look, you're greeted with, with help. I don't mind a ginger, carrot, and apple shot. We start off. Right, I'm hungover, so this. I, I don't know if this is what I want right now, but it, it should definitely do my body good. Mm. Alright, it's, it's nice tonight, I like it. Alright, that's breakfast. Let's, let's continue on, guys. Good morning. Good morning, hello. Welcome to Thank you. How is it? Did you like it? Yeah, it's really good. Designed it. You designed it? Yes, sir. Oh, that was marvelous. That was genius. Brilliant. <laughs> yes. Enjoy. What a combination, guys. Ginger, apple. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, everybody's cheery over here. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. All right, guys. Nuts and cereals and fruits galore. Check this out, guys. They got a tempura banana over here. And then this is the salad area. Holy smokes. 
Alejandro, did you bring an appetite today? Because there's a lot of food over here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, they have about 5,000 different types of olives. And then here we have a bread section. Have a look. With a whole bowl of butter. And the Turkish pretzel. Very nice, very nice. Check that out, guys. No bread, pastries, donuts. This has to be the most elaborate honey station I've ever seen at a hotel. They have the whole comb here. And they tell you everything that the honey is good for. Wow. Jam galore. Egg station. Check out your ketchup pack. Wow, look at the toppings for your omelets here. They're not playing around. Wow. Lentil soup in the morning. Scrambled eggs. Turkish sausages. Oh, look at this cheese. I don't know, Andrew, what do you think so far? This is... It's huge. <laughs> that's what she <Yeah>. said. <laughs> Oiled eggs. Potato. Turkish pastries. Both eggs. I like it. Here you get a milk section with yogurt and yogurt for days. Looks like Turkish people really enjoy the yogurt. And then juice. I almost forgot the cheese section. Have a look. Some meat, but check out all these different cheeses. And how they got them all covered up. That's it, thanks man. All right, so the way it works is you pick your cheese and they give you the slice on the other side. Not bad, not bad. Here's my healthy plate. Here's my I'm trying everything out plate. Alejandro got fruits, some of the local stuff. And what do you think so far? It's amazing. Yeah. It, yeah. It's like it, you say, it's huge. It is, and it's a bit overwhelming because there's just so many things. You want to try everything, and everything just seems like top, top quality. So I'm just like, I want everything. First things first, guys. I'm gonna try out Turkey's very own cheese pastry. And immunity. Check it out, guys. It's just unlimited layers in here of this pastry with some cheese in there. I feel like I've been into some pasta. <laughs> it's like a block of pasta. That's the texture feeling you get in your mouth. And then a very light touch of the cheese. They don't put a lot of cheese. So it's more about this pastry here with all these layers. It looks like stacks of dollar bills. So at the juice bar, guys, you can order your boosters that they mix with more stuff like ginger, apple, cucumber, all this detox kind of stuff, and then just bring to the table to you. tastes like I'm gonna live a hundred years more but let's do it guys so I got the Turkish version of scrambled eggs with tomato and peppers have a look at that mm. it's quite tasty it's very tangy because of all the tomatoes different way to have scrambled eggs why not and then this they're local fried cheese mm -hmm. that is good it's a salted cheese it squeaks it squeaks in your mouth I don't know if the camera picks it up I'm gonna call it Turkish squeaky cheese I love it Mm. 
Turkish sausage. This must be veal. So they don't do pork over here. So here's what looks to be like a Turkish thing, guys. The boiled egg with onions. A lot of onions. More onions than anything. Onion galore. <laughs> Carrots. Yeah. Mm, Carrots. Uh, remolacha. No sé cómo se dice remolacha. Beets. Yeah, definitely has beets. Mm. Look at the color on that. Manzana. I think it's pretty cool that you got all these juices over here, guys. Let's go for this, guys. Another Turkish sausage. Hmm. Very interesting, guys. The texture dissolved in your mouth. It is that kind of sausage. I didn't expect that. I expected it to be a little bit more firm. But very tasty. There's some herbs and spices there giving it some taste. I like it. How are those mushrooms? You get one more life after eating them. It's like Mario. Awesome. <laughs> awesome possum. Yeah. You gotta try the cheese. The cheese very, and very the tasty. eggs. Mm. That's the most Turkish things you got on your plate. A lot of milk. Just... Very milky? Yeah. And squeaky, you don't hear it inside your mouth like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so that's what the egg looks like when you don't put a lot of onions on it like I did. <laughs> mm. You gotta eat with the onions, it's then you taste onions. <laughs> Life is all about balance, right? So this is my, my healthy food of the day, guys. Let's try the mushrooms. Mm. All right. These mushrooms are really, really good. Now for this goat cheese covered up in herbs. So, so creamy. Tastes like yogurt a bit. Wouldn't be surprised if they mix this with yogurt. But so creamy. I'm going in for my second plate, guys, and I figured this cheese looked very special there. It's called the Orbo Cheese Loco. Let's do it. That is strong. I like I just put a foot in my mouth. The perfect way to end this Turkish breakfast is with Turkish tea in the morning. Gotta love it. I say this for last, guys. They had it in that special board, banana tempura. Smothered in, smells like chocolate sauce. Might be Nutella. We got pistachios, crumbled pistachios, sprinkled all over it. Mm. It's very sweet. It's very sugary and very good. Mm. Mm. Breakfast is all done, guys. So the price for this is 650 liras, which is $35 USD. Have a look. Mirrors everywhere. <laughs> Ooh. Alrighty guys, everything here is really fancy, including that breakfast for 650 Turkish Liras, that's $35 USD per person. You get to eat all of that food, unlimited, as much as you want, all the juices, everything. Good stuff guys. Alejandro, final thoughts. Is this the best breakfast buffet we've been to? You look like you're very full right now. Like, yeah, you look heavy. 
<laughs> Alrighty guys, that's it for this guys. 35 bucks. Really good food. Catch on the next one. That's gonna wrap things up from Five Star Hotel, luxury hotel over here in Ankara, Turkey.